The attorney general drops the hammer on former State House Speaker Lee Chatfield. It was determined during the course of the investigation that Chatfield employed a variety of separate financial schemes to line his own pockets. Charging him with running a criminal enterprise. And it's not just him. Chatfield's wife is also charged with misusing nonprofit funds. Thanks for joining us. I'm Demond Fernandez in for Devin Skillian. And I'm Kimberly Gill. Chatfield, during his tenure as speaker, was renowned for his fundraising abilities, raising millions for his Republican caucus and political nonprofits. But tonight, the AG claims the money went for everything from exotic vacations to luxury shopping. Armar McDonald is at the Attorney General's office in Midtown. It is an epic fall from grace. The then young Speaker of the House, a Republican from northern Michigan, flew into Lansing, took the top spot and became a fundraising force to be reckoned with. But whispers from Democrats and fellow Republicans loomed over the Chatfield money raising machine. To date, our investigation has uncovered evidence that Lee Chatfield used various different schemes to embezzle, steal and convert both private and public monies to fund a lavish lifestyle that a state salary could not possibly afford. 13 criminal charges, including conducting a criminal enterprise leveled against Chatfield. This included luxury shopping, fine dining, and extended vacations in swanky hotels in various exotic locations. Already, Nestle's office has charged his two former top lieutenants, Rob and Annie Menard, with misappropriating funds from these same nonprofit accounts. All these charges stemming from a complaint Chatfield's sister-in-law made against him in 2022, claiming he'd been sexually abusing her since she was 15 years old. Tonight, Nestle says that case is closed and there will be no charges. And that was our Mar McDonald reporting. Chatfield's attorney released a statement reading in part, quote, we are prepared to fight them each and every step of the way, and we're prepared to expose this for what it is, a baseless attack on a prodigious fundraiser for Republican candidates by a Democratic attorney general, end quote.